Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom. How many of you know what are blind spots? By definition, a blind spot is an area in your range of vision that you cannot see properly, but which you really should be able to see. Let me give you an example. Once I was driving my car along the highway on the fast lane and I decided to slow down to turn left to the slow lane. I checked my front mirror and also my left wing mirror and seeing no cars in sight, I decided to turn to the left lane. As I was turning, a car suddenly honed very loudly at me and came parallel to my car. I managed to swerve back to the right fast lane in time, as quickly as I could. Well, I didn't notice the car that was just behind me, as it was in the blind spot area of my car. Now, how did I react at that time? Number one, just like anyone else, I was shocked and I was quite frightened that I might hit the other car and injure someone. But I'm thankful to Jesus that there was no accident and the obstacle was revealed to me in time. Thank you, Jesus. Blind spots are hard to see and to detect. They are usually just behind your shoulders. My message today is on spiritual blind spots. Yes, we also have blind spots in our lives as Christians. Many times, we are not aware of them until they are revealed to us. Our actions and our reasoning that we feel are justified in doing so can become our blind spots in our walk as a Christian. These blind spots not only can frighten us when detected or revealed to us, but they may also harm us and affect our spiritual life as well. Now, what are the common blind spots in the lives of a Christian? Number one, the little sins, telling lies once in a while. Many times we may think they are just little lies. It's all right to tell little lies once in a while. Or it could be compromising with the world, the worldly standard, the worldly behavior once in a while. It's okay, you may say. It only happened once in a while. God surely will understand. Let's hear what God says in 1st John chapter 5 verse 17 1st John chapter 5 verse 17 says all unrighteousness is sin and there is sin not leading to death listen to what Psalm chapter 11 verse 7 says for the Lord is righteous he loves righteousness his countenance beholds the upright. The next blind spot in the lives of a Christian can be unbelief, especially in the power and manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The third blind spot is in the area of gossiping and murmuring. God warns us through his apostles about gossiping and murmuring. In 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 13, and also in Philippians chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. So that we will be blameless and harmless, without fault, to shine as light in the world. The fourth blind spot is fear, especially in the area of witnessing for God. 
in the area of rejection and the area of the fear of failure. Let's see what 1 John chapter 4, verse 18 says. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. The fifth blind spot is pride. By saying, Oh, I don't think I have it, is already a sign you have pride in your life. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 23 says, A man's pride will bring him low, but the humble in spirit will retain honor. Amen. Yes, say a big amen to that. And in Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18, we are told that pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. The sixth blind spot in the life of a Christian is jealousy and envy. Have you been jealous or envious before? Have you ever made unkind remarks against one another, against a fellow believer or a non-Christian over their success, over their wealth, their ministry? By doing that, we will be opening the door to the spirit of jealousy and envy to come into our life to interfere in our Christian walk and our Christian growth. Let us see what Song of Solomon chapter 8 verse 6 says. Jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Its flames are flames of fire, a most vehement flame. By vehement flame, it means severe flame. Fellow Christians, these blind spots will harm our spiritual lives harm our spiritual growth and our spiritual walk with Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We need to surrender them to God today. We need to ask God to examine our hearts and to show us what needs to be changed. Let me end by saying this prayer for you. Thank you, Father God, for revealing some of these blind spots to us today. Search our hearts, Lord, and show us what needs to be changed. We surrender all these spiritual blind spots to you this very day. Create in us, O Lord God, a clean, a pure, and an upright heart before you. Forgive us and cleanse us from all this unrighteousness. May your countenance be with us as we choose to walk blameless, harmless, and upright before you. In Jesus' most loving and mighty name, we ask and pray. Amen. God bless you. Hi. Welcome to my channel. This channel consists of three categories of videos on worship songs. Thank you, Jesus, for your love to me. Engkau ada bersamaku. Musim hidupku. On sermons, and they are short and inspiring messages. How many of you need a miracle and healing from Jesus today? And lastly, on miracle healing. Do like and subscribe to my channel link so that you will be able to receive notification from YouTube on my latest videos and update. Jesus bless you.